Take 11. How you doing, guys? I hope you're doing fine. And whatever you're doing there, I hope you're not doing anything like recording the same video 11 times over. <laughs> like my ass is. Yes, right here. I wish I was drinking tea in Pakistan or something instead, man. But I, I've got a job to do here. I'm trying to promote my new work, man. I'm, I'm a little desperate about this. I just released a track called Caribbean. And uh, I want to play through it in person for you using Ableton. Um, but before I do that, I will walk you through each instrument used in this track because I think that's going to help you appreciate this. Well, appreciate, I hate the word, you know. So uh, I, think, I think it's going to help. So let me do that first. So here is the kick drum. Yup, obviously. Then I'm going to add the other instrument. Yeah, this is a snare part, snare drums. It's a rather busy part. Then we have hand clap in charge of the two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then we have the bongo drums. Bongo drums are these little cousins of the conga drums that are bigger. Both are widely used in Latin America. By Latin America, I mean the Central and South America. Then we have the drum fiddles. Then hi hat. I love this part, man. Then we have the Cassisi shaker, originating from Africa, also widely used in Latin America. Then we have this crush cymbal. Next, I'll play the crush cymbal followed by the channel cymbal and the crush cymbals. Did you get that? That's crush china splash. Then we have piano played in its higher register. Then we have this strings, synth strings that is. Yeah, a little synth matter over here, man. Then we have this santur, my uh, one of my favorite instruments ever. This is a darsma instrument from Iran and its surrounding region. You could also say uh, this is an instrument with a Mesopotamian origin. Arhu which is a bowed string instrument from China. In Chinese, R means two, and R who has two strings only. So you could say this is like a Chinese violin with two strings only that you hold vertically, like this. Then we have this, the main actor of this track. The track is about the Caribbean, and the instrument, steel pan, is from Trinidad and Tobago, a country in the Caribbean. What I'm amazed by this instrument is that they produce this beauty out of such an ordinary material, which is the 55 gallon industrial drums. You know those metal drums that they use to transport oil? <laughs> That's what they use to make this musical instrument. And uh, this teaches me that you don't have to be fancy, you don't have to be rich, you don't have to have amazing technology or factories. All you gotta do is to take whatever you got at hand and apply some tweaks to it. And with a bit of luck, you will come up with something beautiful, such as this instrument called Steel Band. I love this instrument, man. So now, moving on trombone then Luan guitar from China as you can see in the photo this has a smaller body than the usual western guitar that we are all familiar with and because of the body size the sound I think has less uh, reverberation in it what it does is if you play a melody with it it's easier to hear that melody because there's you know little echo there's less echo in it, so I love this sound. Now we have acid. If you, um, you, you will see me calling a certain type of synthesizer sound acid. What I mean by that word is a lead synthesizer sound with, a, with an applied filter with high resonance. And that was a little technical. When you have a synthesizer, you typically use a filter to cut out, to extrude certain frequencies. Typically, you cut out the highs and lows, and you leave that middle. Within that middle, you boost 
a narrower band of frequencies to kind of give the sound a character. And you move that resonance high and low. The result is this. You know, it has this particular timbre which kind of sounds like the voice of an insect or something. That's because of the moving resonance. And uh, this kind of sound became popular with the rise of the musical genre called Acid House. Now, Acid House, the musical genre, emerged with the emergence of the second summer of love, which was a cultural phenomenon in UK in the late 1980s. Now, this cultural phenomenon involved a lot of drug use. And one of the drugs people did was uh, LSD. And LSD's nickname is, as you know, Acid. Anyways, man. So here is the bass. So now, the truck. All right, it begins like this. Kick comes in. The bass creeps in on you. Hand grab, right? How about some reverb on the hand grab? Some extra snare. Yep. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I like those poses. it for you. Yup, that's the sound. And steel pan just joined, right? Steel pan. see me doing this right this is a crossfader I use this to extrude some sound like Ocas extruded France hello present Macron okay now trombone just joined I'm thinking what to extrude now how about I extrude I extrude those uh, how about this now this is piano and bass, right? I excluded the acid and steel pan. Now they are coming back. Can you hear the piano? I did some work to this man, yeah. That was a China symbol. Yup, got an eighth note. Bam, 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 bam. This Luan guitar and Arhu doing the melody here. San Francisco in the 60s. Some of love. Yeah, man. I want to go to the Caribbean one day. You're gonna let me earn some money, man. I have no income right now. Support me, please. All you have to do is to smash that like button there or 
leave a comment down below. You can ask me anything. Ask a question. In one of my previous videos, a guy asked a question and he said, uh, why don't you make a song out of this instead of a comedy routine? Thanks, Kevin Porn, for asking that. Uh, first of all, I I'm not thinking this is a comedy routine. This is just how, how I talk. Secondly, about the song, to boil it down to a single sentence answer, I don't like songs. I don't like songs, and the reason I don't is uh, it has to do with how I how I grew up. Uh, when I was a kid in elementary school, like in my fourth grade, fifth grade, uh, my music teacher in the school was a real asshole, and she let all of us sing these really stupid, corny songs approved by the Japanese government or something. And um, you won't understand until you hear those stupid songs. But they really sound bad, man. So it immediately became clear to us kids that it's not cool to sing and instead it's extremely cool to refuse singing so that's how I came to not like songs I wanna, I wanna stay true to what I like anyways guys, follow Kevin's example and ask me questions if you can ask me anything, I will get offended I will get offended man so um, thanks for watching and um, I hope to see you in my next video I hope uh, I can keep going I want to turn this into my career, so help me subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, thanks. Bye. Strings. I played this strings part with a keyboard that I picked up from the garbage that was free.